Welcome back to the Jenny McCarthy Show. I'm Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg. Guys, one of my faves is in the studio. Kyle Richards from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Tuesday nights at 9 o'clock on Bravo. I've been waiting for her to come back. Kyle, welcome back, girl. Oh, my God. Good morning. Good morning, girl. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing well right now. I'm going to be really honest. What's wrong? Um, I went out after Watch What Happens Live. <sighs> Oh, no, I've done that before. Um, did tequila shots, which I don't do. Oh. And I'm in trouble with my husband right now. I didn't even check in when I got home, and I lost a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a great night out. No, I, I'm, I'm still not okay, Jenny. I'm, I'm so sorry. This I is my makeup from Watch What Happens Live. <laughs> I do the same exact thing. I'm telling you. I'm Literally like, not one thing touched. I showered and this is it. <laughs> I can't believe you even showered. I, I mean, I'm. that's why I'm late. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, you look gorgeous. Ugh, and I'm I got to tell you, watching the season, I'm always like, how is Kyle looking better as she's getting older? Like, what are you doing? That's like unbelievable. Um, I, You know, honestly, like people think, I was talking about this with Denise Richards yesterday, actually. People think we do so much more than we do. <laughs> She's like, Kyle, what's happening? Everyone thinks I have plastic surgery all the time. Like that. Welcome to the show. Um, honestly, like, you know, I do Botox. I don't do filler, but I do lasers. No downtime lasers. And I really think that is the only way to go. Tell me the laser. Well, the one I did is called Limelight. Okay. I also did one called uh, PicoSure, which is um, something that they, they, when they discovered they were removing tattoos, that also like fix your face too. So I've done PicoSure and now Limelight. Those are the two. That's all I've done. Oh no, I one time did um, what is it called when they um, they they take out your blood, they spin oh yeah the, it. the um the stem Pl- cell kind of yeah. pe- one. Well yeah, and then they injected it back in my face. Like it's some people call it like the vampire facial. Yep. But not with the micro needling, like the actual needle. So they took the blood out, spun it, and they put it in my face. And it, it hurt a little, but not bad. And, like, you can go right to lunch after. And I really feel like that's the stuff that's making a difference. Because- you know why? Because it doesn't look like you had plastic surgery. Yeah, it I looks have- like you just you look more youthful. And I literally, every time I watch her, I'm like, I got to have Kyle back. I need to ask her what's going on because she well, looks so beautiful. <laughs> well, there's someone in L.A. that everyone is called Nurse Jamie. And I went to her. I know. <laughs> get your, get, write it down. <laughs> Trust <laughs> me. All the girls are. I know, like, well, who is this woman that everyone's, like, talking about? So I went, and she also did this, like, um, I don't know, it's like what some light on your face. I'm like, whatever. I left looking younger, and I was like, okay, and I didn't do anything other than, you know, just sit there for 30 well, minutes. Well, you look fucking amazing. I'll thank, just you, tell you that. thank you. Thank um, you. Let's you dive in. I want to tell you, because um, I had Paris on the show, and I had asked her, um, I'm like, would Kathy Hilton ever join Real House? I'd probably, she's like, no, she would never join. And Kathy's come out and said, no, I've never joined. But if she did, what would her tagline be? Oh, my God. I'm too hungover to think of something intelligent and witty. <laughs> but my, the thing is, my sister, Kathy, people do not know this about her because she comes across serious because she dresses very, you know, conservative. and Proper. She is one of the funniest people you've ever met. She is a prankster. Like, you have no idea. She's really wicked funny. And everything she does is, like, practical jokes. You have no idea. She's just crazy So she funny. would actually be really fun on the show. She actually would be. Um, but, yeah, so she bumped into Andy the other night at Mr. Chow. They took a picture. And Bruce Bozzi, um, Andy's best friend and one of my favorite people, posted it and, like, said, you know, like, give her a diamond. And, like, that, there we go. The rumor was off and running. <laughs> and... Um, Andy came out and said that that's not true, but, you know, you never say never because although never it's not in talks, you never know. Have you ever mentioned your to Kathy? Have you ever been like, hey, girl? Um, in the past, it's come up because a lot of people have wanted her on the show. And um, I don't know. I don't know if she knows what this really involves. <laughs> like, right? She's, you know, very much in charge of her own life. Like, she does not get, you know, and even though it's a reality show and it's our real lives and they're following us, like, you have to be like, show up and do things like, you know, and you're not going to Europe for the summer, honey. Like you got to be, <laughs> you right. got to be somewhere at 8 a.m. and, you know, make a commitment. You're, you're committed. Exactly. You don't just have free range, do whatever the hell you want. Exactly. Um, there are rumors going around that your other sister might be joining. There's like negotiations. True. I, I don't know if that's true either. I woke up to that as well. I mean, so, I would, Kim was, you know, obviously one of the, we were the first two people signed on to do the show. And, um, which made the show, I mean, you know, looking back, it's kind of crazy to think, you know, I remember where I was exactly. I was in my daughter's preschool and I got a call saying, 
Bravo has greenlit if you and Kim sign now, otherwise they're not doing The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And I had to make a decision because there was another network that was asking us to do a show. And um, so, yeah, you know, I would love to see Kim back. I, the audience loves her. And, you know, she has a lot going on in her life right now. She has a new two new grandchildren, actually. I know. So. It's so sweet. And do you think she's... Um, just because I got so scared with what happened to her, I'm like, did TV do this? Like, is no. it is it too much for her? No. If anything, being on the show made her accountable. Oh. And she says that as well, you know, that it act- she says it saved her life. Because, you know, you, you there's nowhere to hide. And everyone knows who, <laughs> now anywhere she goes, you know, people know who she is. She, she can't get away with anything. So no. it actually helped her. And so with Lisa, um, Rinna, like, they, I know they made up so to speak right. tv made it up let's be honest here no but they actually they actually that was a real moment that i didn't that see. really I was did, i didn't see it and then when i saw it in the show i was like god that's actually really nice and makes me happy because people say to me how could you be friends with lisa ren i'm like first of all we're on the show together like you know I, I i can't live my life you know and i'm not someone who holds grudges and she's been nothing but kind to me kind and yes she had an issue with my sister kim but I mean, they were both, you know, wrong. So what can I say? I know Lisa Renner was like, um, God, Kyle should have told me that Kim was coming. Do you think she deserved a, hey, guess what, who's going to be here or no? No, it's my home. And there was 500 people there. And Kim is my sister. Of course, she's going to be there for her niece's 30th birthday. That party was fucking amazing, by the way. You're probably still paying it off, but I was like, damn, I love a good Halloween party. Me too. Uh, so let's dive into what the real juice of my listeners and our, because we recap the show every week, of course. The Lisa Vanderpump fight, you know, by the time it would get into the end of the season, we were like, okay, enough with the fucking dog. But I want to dive into the, the, when you were driving over to Lisa's house, in your mind, your intention was to confront her. I don't think you've ever confronted her like this before. No. N- knowing what you were going to go in and confront her with, did you know it was going to probably be friendship ending? No. First of all, it's not about the dog. That's the number one thing. And actually, Brandy Glanville, I did something on her podcast, I think, where she like was so crystal clear. I just saw someone sent me the link. It's not about the dog. It was about years of this sort of like, you know, setting things up and the truth is like and I said this you know at the reunion which I'm not supposed to say but you know if it had been Lisa Rinna I could I could almost understand it because they don't like each other and they've had issues but this was supposed to be one of her best friends right and you know I've had it you know with me there's been things so it wasn't about the dog it was just a a pattern a b when I went there I didn't know Ken was going to be there and I kept saying can we go to the living room to talk which they didn't show that part because I didn't want to be having this conversation with Ken I was very uncomfortable, you know, myself standing there alone, um, yeah. with Ken and Lisa, and she knew what was coming because Ken would not leave. There was like, no. he was not budging, and I was like, can we go? Nope, no, what do you have to say? So she kind of knew what was coming, I could feel that. And I did not think it would be a friendship ending because I had had the same conversation with her in the Bahamas when I said, listen, I think you should just come out and say, I'm sorry this happened. Don't say I did this or I did that. If you don't want to do that, just say, I'm sorry this happened. I'm sorry it's gotten to this with Dorit. So, no, I did not think. I just knew I had to be honest. You know, when you when you have these conversations on camera like we had at lunch, and, you know, she was going to see that in six months. I felt like I was talking behind her back if I didn't go and tell her what happened. Right. So Exactly. And, and, and you know, and, and, and to be fair, watching all of the seasons, you do see a reoccurring pattern. I mean, I've called her out on Watch What Happens Live and on my show as kind of like a puppet master. I've gotten beat up by her army of fans. Yeah, and, we all and, have. <laughs> and even Lisa has come into my show and saying, why are you saying this about me? And I'm well, like, well, she'll never come again. <laughs> 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 but <clears throat> she's a person, like you said, she can't take accountability. No, she, the thing is, you know, and I and people say like, oh, you say you care about Lisa. But I do. I care about Lisa. You know, I love her. We've had a friendship for, you know, 10 years. But I mean, it's very, it's crystal clear. I mean, I knew when I walked into, and it's like I said, it's not about the dog. When I walked into Vanderpump Dogs and that dog was brought up out to me and, you know, look, here we have, I, I knew immediately what was going on. And to me, it was just like, you just don't do that. That's your friend. And they had already had a conversation. And um, Jory really felt the dog was going to a good home. And, you know, so what can I say? But I, Lisa's, you know, very funny. And we've had amazing times together. And I'm very, I am very sad that she's not a part of, you know, she didn't want to join us and be a part of the group. 
with time, I've usually heals things. Is Lisa capable of becoming just off camera friends with you again? I don't know. I mean, honestly, you know, in the past, um, I made a comment. I said, you know, when may, may, my quote was exactly, and I know because they did a flashback, <laughs> was maybe she prays on the week. And when I said that season one or two, I meant that if you're not strong and stand up to her, you know, she will um, – take advantage of that. I wasn't saying that she was, you know, <laughs> beating old ladies. There's Annie Cohen! <laughs> uh, that she was beating old ladies with like, their, their canes. So, um, but she didn't, for so long I was punished for that one little comment. I just don't know if she's able, going to be able to get past this. Um, I really hope so because um, I think that if you care about someone like we, we care about each other and I hope she cares about me, that you can always get past something. I thought for sure that she'd be able to figure out how to at least mend this and continue but I was like wow she cannot we invited her included her in every single thing and she just um she did she did she chose not to show up and I, I was you know I'm thinking just say even if you want to say no I, that's not true you know let's agree to disagree can we just do that right but she, that wasn't an option it's I not guess. in her to have you blocked her on Instagram or Twitter yet <laughs> no I'm waiting to, to be blocked <laughs> I mean, I keep thinking, I've actually checked a couple of times. Am I blocked yet? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's solely something I would do. I'd be like, well, I'm not blocked yet. I literally look. I'm like, oh, wow. I'm still, only because she knows that people will pick up on that. Because people watch that stuff. They look at that. Of course. I, I, I follow Brandy Glanville and it literally was like, breaking news, Kyle Richard following Brandy Glanville. I'm like, <laughs> why is that a big deal? I bumped into her. She was kind and sweet. And you know whatever we 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 put the past behind us. So <laughs> would you would you be okay with Brandy coming back as a full time cast member? Yeah, honestly, I mean, I would. You know, she and, she 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 makes me nervous sometimes just because she can go very low. <laughs> to be honest, sorry, Brandy, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I I would. I mean, she there's a history there. I would you like kind of need someone with those kind of like ballsy unpredictable I mean it's like walking through a, a you know a, a, a land what's it called a, a mine land landmines yeah okay. thank you she, she, um, I need help today I yes, don't speak totally very not. well today <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm pretending like if I was on the show I would probably be scared of a brandy coming on it but as scary. a viewer I would want to see it but as a cast member I would be a little scared I know yeah it is a little scary I'm not gonna lie <laughs> but, I, in terms why of don't you why don't you come on the show you know, Bethany asked me to be part of New York, and I was like, no, girl. I, 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 I want L.A., please. <laughs> <laughs> I want Beverly Hills. I need a lot more money, Kyle, and then I can make a <laughs> cast. I'm wearing a clip-in ponytail and my makeup from this week also. I haven't washed it off. But um, well, see, I we want... already have something to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd be friends for sure. Um, Camille, I want to ask about Camille because she, she came out of this <sighs> season going like, I mean, just dishing some dirt. And I'm like, wow, Camille is just tr just either trying to get a full-time, you know, position on the show mm -hmm. or <laughs> what? I mean, tell me. Well, just wait till the reunion. I mean, she came in guns blazing. And the thing is with Camille, and I really, I did everything I could not to argue with her because we've made so much progress over these <laughs> 10 years, nine years since we had, you know, uh, our fight season one. But the thing is, like, if you... If you're going to think something and feel something, you know, you've got to have some conviction. You can't, like, change your mind every time someone else walks into a room. <laughs> and she would say one thing. She just says whatever the person she's talking to wants to hear. So you don't right. know what she's really thinking and feeling. And I said that. I said that to her face. And she's a people pleaser. She's scared of the backlash. So she just says whatever. I'm like, you, you do know there's cameras rolling. And right? this is going to play back. And you're, like, you, you can't say two different things. Her intention. I was like, is her intention? Because we've seen this sweet Camille after Kelsey. Right. Like Camille, you know what I mean? We've had empathy and she was wonderful. And then all of a sudden, boom, this shark. This is not season one. This is like more than season one, Camille. It was it was a lot. There's more stuff coming up that you're, I so think, going to be very it, surprised. So what is that, Well, I think that, you know, she has that in her. I mean, clearly, you know, you can you only uh, hide that for so long. <laughs> and also, I don't know. I really, I really don't know. Honestly, we were all like... It was very surprising at times because, like, you know, the cast who doesn't know her as well, they were like, what is that? Like, she said this and then she says this. It does, she said completely two different things. And then, yeah. so it was, I don't know. It's messy. It's real messy. Very um, messy. I, I know Erica <laughs> had come out and said that you and um, Teddy seem to be like in cahoots together. And 
becoming <laughs> allies. Well, not in cahoots. We're, I absolutely, well, first of all, I like all the women in the cast. Um, I'm, I'm close with all of them, which, you know, after, um, it's not easy to say that on a show like this. No. But they're all amazing women. Honestly, they are. We have an amazing cast of women. Um, I care about all of them. I, I mean, Teddy, to me, um, sh- she's just an amazing girl. We, we have a lot in common, and I love being with her. We spend a lot of time together off camera. And we were not in cahoots, um, but you know, when you have a friend on the show, it can be, it can per- be perceived as that, especially since people are not seen, used to seeing people close like that. <laughs> right, and I guess people think that you're friends with everybody, but in in reality, you're you're friends friends with Teddy. So of course, a friend is going to have your back. Is basically it. Yeah, and Teddy is you know a very strong willed person. So I mean, I I. You know, if someone messing with me, she's definitely going to step in. I, I got the chance to interview her, and she was she was awesome to talk to. She's so great. She's such a great girl. She's just very, you know, and I feel bad because, you know, she, she's not used to being, I mean, we get pummeled on this show on mainly Twitter, you know, because the audience and Instagram and you know, other social media is a very different story. But Twitter, I mean, it's like, hi, let me let me get abused today. Let me sign in and get totally. abused. All, literally, all I do is get pummeled all day long. And it's so, when you're not used to that, she, you know, she struggles with that. And I'm like, Teddy, you have to understand, like, you know, when people tell you they love you and you're the best thing in the world, that also doesn't mean anything. Like, it's true. So you, had a, you, you kind of coached her through I how try- to get through yeah, it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, because people don't realize unless you're in it, like what it's like to get a hundred to two hundred to a thousand hate texts of, or tweets, I should say, about the way you look, about the way you act. Everything. They're like, well, you signed up for this. Like, I mean, I, people think, you know, if you're in the public eye, it's you just get to be abused. <laughs> this is just part of it. It's part of the deal. It's so much fun. <laughs> if Andy Cohen call, said, called you and said, hey, pick pick someone to be the new housewife in Beverly Hills. Out of old cast members. Oh, of old cast members. Oh, my gosh. Well, now I'm going to have to say Lisa <laughs> Vanderpump. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'd say Lisa Vanderpump. Um, Can the show survive? My sister Kim. My sister Kim. Okay, that's a good answer. Yes. Could the show survive without Lisa Vanderpump? Well, we have been. Yeah. Honestly, you know, um, our ratings have been really, really high this season, and um, – and yeah, we we did the show without her the, the last half of it. So the show's been doing great. The clue, the 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 key is, and I'm gonna have to let you go. But y- you are the glue because the the person that like you've not only been there the longest, but you really are the stable driving force that also understands accountability and forgiveness and letting things go. When you're on a show like that, the sh- the, the the franchises that work are the ones that can do that. Well, thank you. I mean, that's I, I, I'm like that, and you know, that's who I am. And so I'm glad that, that you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Now go nurse your hangover. I appreciate you coming. Uh. Tell the girls I said hello. We'll be rooting for you, especially in that reunion. I can't wait to fucking watch that. Kyle Richards, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Tuesday nights at 9 o'clock on Bravo. And I'm going to go get the limelight and talk to Nurse Jenny. <laughs> yeah. J- nurse, nurse, nurse Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> we'll see you in L.A. J-A-M-I-E. See you in L.A. Bye, girlfriend. Bye. Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh.